With the release of Windows 8 in 2012, Microsoft unfortunately no longer gave you the default option of having the FA key if you want to access safe mode. However, with a simple command prompt trick, you can easily re-enable it. My name's as you know Martin Noble, let's go and get started. So I've just now booted into Windows 10 on a virtual machine, just saying, and I'm going to have to open command prompt, run as administrator. You must run as administrator, otherwise you won't be able to do what I'm going to do. So I just say yes to the UAC and I type in BCD edit. So what we're looking for is what it says here, boot menu policy. It should be set to standard, which is default for all Windows 8 to 10 computers, which means you can't enable the F8. To enable it, we just have to type in BCD edit set default boot menu policy legacy. And to double check that you have done this, you could just type in BCD edit again and the boot menu policy should say legacy. Now once that is done, you can restart to see the effect. So I'm just going to restart Windows 10 right now. So this is the advanced on boot options and it is not blue as you expected because this is the legacy boot manager. So as you can see, you have all the choices for Windows 10. Repair your computer, which brings you into the recovery environment. Safe mode, safe mode with networking, command prompt. It's basically almost the same as Windows 7. You just got disable early launch anti-malware driver and yeah. Now let's go into safe mode by just pressing safe mode. You get the Windows logo and you don't get a progress bar or any kind of startup animation. So I just type, put in my password, and there you go. You are in safe mode. As you can see, networking, all that is not working, and it's running in the limited graphics card. What if, at this point, your version of Windows has already stopped working? Well. If you haven't enabled the F8 key yet, not all hope is lost. So basically, you were unable to get into Windows and you can't access safe mode. What do you do? All you need is to just get out a Windows restore disk and go from there. So I'm just gonna be using a Windows 10 ISO image. Although if you have your own Windows 10 DVDs, well done. Or you could just make your own USB stick. So just on CD-ROM drive, press any key to boot. You once again get the Windows logo and it will take a little while because it will take far, it will be faster on the, a flash drive than, an, than a CD or DVD. But then again, we're already in the age where it's obsolete. So you just ignore all that, press next and go to repair your computer. At this point, you just click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. And as you can see, once again, we have another CMD screen. I'm just going to change it so you can see a little more clear. So as you can see, I'm just going to type in BCD Edit. And the boot menu policy is standard. So to change that, I'm just going to type in BCD Edit, Set, default boot menu policy just like last time just say legacy and then we're just going to restart by just killing a major process <laughs> so once again we've got in back into the FA key after assuming that your computer has stopped working and then you could just open safe mode. And if that doesn't work, then you may have to go into the recovery environment. So that's basically how you can enable F8 on any computer running Windows 8 or above. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. Please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And 
Thank you all for watching and hope that you learned something today. See you guys next time.